Now to a big step in the reopening of Florida. Today, all but three counties in the state will be able to enter phase two. And that means bars are now allowed to open at 50% capacity inside and full capacity outside with social distancing, of course. Retail stores and gyms can open at full capacity. And entertainment spots like movie theaters, bowling alleys, those can reopen at 50%. And as phase two gets underway, Central Florida's theme park scene is working to rebound here. In just hours, Universal Orlando will reopen to the public. It comes months after the parks were closed due to coronavirus. News 6's Mark Lehman is live at Universal this morning. Guests will witness some changes when they come out today. Yeah, and some of the first things they'll see are staggered parking and temperature checks before even getting inside. One of the most noticeable changes, though, comes to face coverings. Everyone now must wear one if they want to spend a day at the park. After a shutdown spanning more than two and a half months, Universal Orlando is preparing to open its doors once again this morning. The decision coming after Governor Ron DeSantis approved the theme park's plan in May. When you have places like Universal that are making sure everyone's safe and taking all these things, that gives people confidence that they can come and enjoy themselves. And really, I think um, I think Florida's leading the way on that. And it's a plan that includes many changes, which resort guests and annual pass holders first experienced during a soft opening on Wednesday. We miss the parks desperately. <laughs> um, uh, and we felt like all of the precautions were um, up to snuff. Universal sending out video of what guests can expect. That includes temperature screenings and everyone must also wear a mask while on property. Once inside, you'll likely see workers cleaning and sanitizing high touch areas. And when it comes to social distancing, capacity at the theme parks is limited and riders will be spaced out on attractions. Universal using a virtual queue for some rides, which seemed to have an effect during Wednesday's soft opening. Wait times have been really good today. Uh, Haggard's yeah. hours is the only way. Yeah, sure. Haggard's was like uh, hours, and like with the virtual queue, you basically just like walk right on. Now, as for how long these changes will be in place, that's unclear, but Universal says they are continuing to follow the guidance of the CDC as well as state and local leaders. The theme parks here are set to reopen at 9 this morning. Live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. All right, Mark, thank you. While Disney World's theme parks will be closed for another month, thousands of cast members will soon be heading back to work. Labor union officials say all full-time attractions and custodial employees will be called back to work between June 14th and June 28th. All workers will be required to undergo temperature checks and must wear masks. No parades, fireworks, or character meet and greets will be held. Right now, the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom are set to reopen July 11th, followed by Epcot and Hollywood Studios on July 15th.